We're now ready to test out our frequency synchronization correction block uh, by setting up a small example. And uh, it looks a little confusing here, but most of it is just getting the data ready. Uh, we've used our OFDM transmitter block here, and we've just input uh, similar parameters we've been implementing all along and uh, similar data sequence. And then we're basically using the innards of our frequency synchronization block to produce a complex um, um, modulation uh, that will basically represent our frequency offset and then using our frequency synchronization block to correct it and we're going to look at the spectrum uh, so we can kind of visualize what's going on when we don't have coherence between our transmitter and receiver. So let's go ahead and look at the front panel now and um, I've set it up in a while loop again so that we can watch the spectrum change in real time so let's go ahead and run it and here we have a nice baseband OFTM symbol. This is DC, and um, here is the negative frequencies over here. And so it's it's uh, correct as of right now. But now if we add some sort of frequency offset, we see the uh, spectrum shift out, and it's obviously no longer DC. We are 40 hertz, uh, roughly off, from our DC component. And so what we would do then is, in our frequency estimate, we would input 40 hertz and get our signal back down to baseband. And so that's all there is to it. Uh, we can see that it works, and hopefully this will help you visualize what's happening when we don't have coherence between our transmitter receiver and how easy it is to correct it by a simple point-by-point -point complex exponential multiplication. If you have any questions, I encourage you to check out the CNX module or email the author.